everybody. Happy Friday. Sorry I couldn't be at the meeting today. I'm in Myrtle Beach with some family and friends and I'm coming here to speak on behalf of Briar Creek Elementary School about Donors Choose. Our school took on this Donors Choose project this year. School-wide 100% of everybody participated and Barbara and I were talking and she asked if I'd come and just give a quick rundown on how we got it started, the process we took, the timeline, and then at the same time let you know about some projects that we did get funded. Now just a little background, several teachers here at Briar Creek have done Donors Choose before. I'm sure like many of you guys, it's not, nothing that's not been around or nothing new to us educators. But last year when several teachers did it, we We've been documenting all of the projects that have been funded and how much money that um, has been donated and projects that have come to our school. Anyway, last year about 18 projects were funded. It took about 98 donors to get those projects funded for a total of about $8,300. Well, I'm sort of telling you the good piece before I tell you all the little piece, all the nuts and bolts of how we got to it. But this year, like I said, we took it school wide, our principal, like I said, all the staff members uh, joined in with our PTA, and it was just a big, big, huge project. But we've got over 5,600, over 5,600, over 56 projects funded, which took about 500 donors, but a total of $64,000 that has been brought into the school because of donors choosing. So we're very proud and excited about that. And these projects have from little $100 projects like Bluetooth speakers to microphones to leveled books in the classroom to big things like, you know, $1,000 document cameras, the really good Elmo ones that everybody just wants in their classroom so bad, to a 50-inch plasma TV a teacher received to then what I'm going to tell you was our school-wide goal. Oh, carpets, kindergarten, every one of them got brand new Lakeshore, nice big rugs to go in the front of the room. They're awesome. But then to the big project, which are, was our big goal for Donors Choose was our iPad initiative. So let me tell you a little bit about how Donors Choose works. If you don't know, that the first thing you need to do, need to do is to set up an account. You need to have an account. Donors Choose works that the more projects you put on there, more grants you write, they get funded, you're earning points. So the more points you earn, the bigger your projects can be. So our school decided that along with our PTA, we first decided who, were, who was going to be a part of this little mini committee that would help promote donors choose, help get the teachers you know, comfortable with it and get their projects up and running. So the first thing I would recommend if your school is interested in this is identify the key players that are, are going to be a part of this committee. Like I said, we, our Dr. Chambers, our principal, was a huge advocate for it. Karen DeLee, our technology teacher. We had two parents from PTA that joined this small committee that worked for um, actually SAS. So they did a ton of research along with us to understand donors choose and how the program worked. Myself, we had a couple teachers that had been what we were calling the experts on staff that had written donors choose projects and had had them funded. So that was the first thing we did. The second thing we did was, as a school, what was our goal this year? Well, you know how most schools have a, um, a drive, you know, their big initiative where it might be a track, you know, some big initiative every year. Well, this year in particular, our big, um, our big goal was to fund more iPads. We really wanted another iPad card and uh, so that could be mobile to teachers classrooms. So anyway, that was our big goal. So the second thing we recommend after you've got a little committee together is what is the big goal of the donor's shoes? And if you remember me saying, you've got to earn points. So we had to have points in order to get the iPads because you can't go for the iPads as your first uh, grant. It takes six points in order for you then to ask for an iPad through donor's shoes. So after those things were all set in place, we set a timeline. Donors Choose, another awesome thing they do is they have two friends and family weeks per year. One of those is in October, and I believe the other one was in February. And uh, during those friends and family week, whatever is donated to a particular project, Donors Choose matches it. And we believe it's up to about $500 they will match. Now, because of those key players from PTA, we decided those key players need to be people 
or we tried to, you know, um, assemble this team with people that worked for large companies, that those companies also matched donations that their employees gave to education. So that was one reason we were fortunate to have the two SAS employees, but IBM, there's many other companies out there that have the same matching type program, but that was just a little extra incentive for us. Um, anyway, so after, so my principal, Dr. Chambers, we pulled the whole staff together. She'd kind of given them the heads up about getting their accounts ready, setting up those accounts, making sure everyone was good, sort of thinking about what projects would you like, thinking about those things like the kindergarten rugs, like the document camera, that as a school we were not going to have the funds to get those this year, what things would you get? And what things could you promote to families that would get them excited about what their kids are going to be using in the classroom or have as a resource? So everybody came with their ideas. We actually um, laid out a plan that during a staff meeting teachers would have time to post with help support from myself karen delia other teachers in the building that had um, posted projects they would have that opportunity to do those at that time so but it was a requirement school-wide that everyone posted at least one project this school year so got those um, out there got them started teachers put them on facebook put them on their weeblies their you know classroom websites sent out emails then the emails can be generated out to you know uh, family outside of the school so teachers started getting um, getting their grants getting their grants granted and funded and things started showing up we did big shout outs on the morning messages so it was a really big deal when Ashley Howie got her you know portable speakers speakers that everyone knew and we you know it was celebrated that so on throughout the year like i said the october was that big timeline for family and friends well then when the family and friends came obviously some projects had already gotten funded and then some had not gotten funded so pta the school we promoted it big time on our website and um, needless to say i mean at that point we had enough money we actually got our ipad cart funded so between everybody, the few teachers that had gotten up to their six points because they'd gotten projects, little projects funded, they had the points, and then they were able to post a grant to ask for the iPad card. Anyway, it's very simple. The grants that need to be written on there, if you've never written one before, they're not extensive. You really can put something together in one evening. Now, Donors Choose, you do have to use their shopping mall on there. That um, There are certain vendors that they 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 advertise for but best buy electronics lakeshore most anything that you can think of you can find all the materials you need so that's the gist that's sort of um how briar creek did it what we've done is this video is on our website we've posted all of the um all the grants that teachers have requested and gotten funded so you can even get some ideas if this is something you're interested for your school but again I think the big piece of this was and the big um, why we were so successful is because it was a whole school effort and PTA backed everybody up, the teachers supported each other. So anyway, thanks for letting me talk for just a few minutes and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Again, go to our website, Wendy Bardeen, she's out there right now with you guys and if you have any face-to-face -face questions, I'm sure she can answer them. Karen DeLea, our school technology teacher she'll be happy to answer questions if, if you get in contact with somebody at your school and you want them to contact us because i'm sure none of you out there really want to take the uh lead on this and like i said i'm really just a spokesperson <laughs> for briar creek for donors choose i definitely was not the leader in this endeavor but anyways easy great and i think you can get lots of stuff from it all right thanks have a good weekend bye